before I get started, I just want to um, ask you guys and tell you guys um, that you guys don't see me up here giving the word. I just want to be used by God to be uh, spoken through. Because me as an individual, me as a 19-year-old who just finished high school last year, um, I've got nothing for you. <laughs> I, there's nothing I can tell you probably that can benefit you. But um, when God speaks through me, when I allow him to speak through me, that's when. And it worked out kind of good this morning. This morning I want to speak on love and what a great time to do communion. Amen. Uh, which is in remembrance of the biggest act of love that we know of. Come on. The, um, yeah. When God uh, gave his only son. Yeah. Um, so as we get into love, I just want to ask the question first of what is love? And I'm not going to be talking about love for too long. <laughs> it's just going to be a short, um, just kind of conversation more like of what I've found on what love is. Um, but first I would like to ask what is love? Um, if you look up like a uh, definition of love, uh, Google or something or any anything like that, like a dictionary definition, it gives you an intense feeling of deep affection, great interest in something, connection with someone or something. It's more based around the feelings of the emotional highs and the emotional feelings. So then we dive into what the Bible says about love, and I think 1 Corinthians chapter 13, 4 through 5 gives a perfect definition of what love is. It says, love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. And what I see in the difference of the definitions of, of love, what the world thinks love is and what the Bible says love is, is that the world thinks love is about feelings. And then the Bible is all about action. <laughs> So when we look at the traits of love, it's patient, it's kind, it's not envious, not boastful, not prideful. It will not dishonor others. It will not be self-seeking. It will not be easily angered. And I, um, I'd like to emphasize it will not be easily angered. It will be angered. <laughs> love, love can be angered because God can be angered. But it will not be easily angered. And it keeps no record of wrongs. It doesn't bring up the past. <laughs> in the middle of an argument. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't remind you where you've been and where you were. It only tells you where you're going to be and where you are now. And then in later in Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 6, chapter 16, verse 14, it says, do everything in love. Now, when I read that, I take that very literal because you could say, oh, yeah, everything. And then we, we all know to love. It's, you know, we all know it's so important to love, but we kind of brush over the loving thing. And when it says do everything in love, it literally means every single thing in love. So in everything you do, you are to be patient, kind, not envy, don't boast, don't be prideful, don't dishonor others, self-seeking, don't be easily angered, and don't keep a record of wrongs. And 1 Corinthians 13, chapter 13, 2 says, If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and I have all the faith that can move mountains but do not have love, I am nothing. So I can just imagine <laughs> someone has the faith to literally move a mountain in front of you. To move a mountain in front of you. And the Bible is saying, yeah, they, they could probably do that with the faith that they have. But if they don't have love, they have nothing. And that's just so powerful. And of course, in 1 John chapter 4, 19, he said, it says, we love because he first loved us. And how did he first love us? Well, what are we doing communion for this morning? Right. And it's... It's easy to forget to love others. It's easy to kind of brush that under the table. It's easy to tell people what they're doing wrong straight up. It's very easy to do that. Um, but what's hard is seeing people 
seeing sinners like myself, like us, seeing the wrongs and still loving, still being patient, still being kind, and still sacrificing things for them so that they can see the love. Because Christians are held to such a high standard. Um, I think people in the world, I see it, people even test Christians. They'll put them, put them on their limits. Uh, they'll be mean to them and everything just to see how they'll react, just to watch them blow up in their face. Um, but what we can do is when we can react to those situations in love and kindness and patience, they'll be blown away. They'll be like, wow, these Christians really do. <laughs> they really do love. And it's not about how you're feeling in that moment. If we go based on how we're feeling in the moment, we're never, well, most of the time, we're not going to want to love. Because <laughs> most of the time, we're tired, we, we uh, feel discouraged, um, feel annoyed even, someone makes you angry. Um, you don't want to love, you don't want to sacrifice for that person. Um, I, I bet when Jesus was on the cross, I bet he didn't feel like doing that. <laughs> It was probably wasn't his favorite thing to do. <laughs> he probably didn't want to do that. But he did it out of sacrifice, one of the biggest, or the biggest sacrifice that anyone has ever done. And um, through that is how we know that he loves us. So when you go out into the world at your job, you have to let people know that you, that you love them. You don't have to go up to them and, you know, and... and for a guy to guy, if you go to your coworker and be like, oh, man, I love you, you know, <laughs> might be a little weird or something. But what you can do, <laughs> what you can do is you can sacrifice things like uh, if you got like an alternating break, you can, you know, be like, oh, you can go on break first or oh, I'll do this for you. I'll do that for you. I mean, you, you know, within reason, don't be pushover. But, <laughs> but um, you can... <laughs> You can do these things uh, to show that you're sacrificing for someone else uh, so that they can not be dishonored, but they can be honored. And like I said, the greatest act of love we can find in John 3.16, even the unsaved know this verse, <laughs> John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. My question for you is, if God so loved the world, why can't we? If God loves the world so much that he gave his only son, would we do the same? That's a hard question, right? The people at work that get on your nerves, even the, the people that you just, you just don't like, just the people that you see on Facebook that are, <laughs> that are stirring up problems. <laughs> <laughs> All these people that just, just, just really just get on your last nerve. G Jesus, or God, gave his only son for those exact people. And to think he wants us to be like him, he wants us to do the same. So as I leave with you, <laughs> as you're going back into work, going back into life, um, I would remind with you is as soon as you leave not having love in your heart, that is exactly when God is not with you. Because, let's see where it is. In 1 John 4, 16, it says, God is love. All And all who live in love live in God. And God lives in them. And then it says again, God is love. And he who abides in him abides in love, abides in God, and God in him. And it says again, God is love. And he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God, and God in him. Now it tells us like three or four times <laughs> that God is love in different ways. So if God is love, and love is God, then when we approach somebody, if we don't have love, we don't have God. So you can't deliver, you can't witness to someone without love. You can't witness to someone without God. Without God, there's no love. Without love, there's no God. So I just want to encourage you as you go back into your life, just into the regular routine of things, is to always keep love in your path. And love is more of a choice 
not a feeling. Love is an action, is a sacrifice you make for other people. And it's very important that we show everybody this love, even the ones you don't want to. Um, that's all I have for you guys. <laughs>